guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of season four of Overlords. It's gonna get started in three, two, one, go. All right, let's see how the fuck this is gonna end. I'm still hurt over brain because, like, brah. Oh my god. Don't go climb. Climb's my baby. I love him. Like, ugh. I know. I just want you to leave. I don't want you to die. Witches. Right, get the fuck out. He will take you and go. I still don't trust her, though. I mean, she she's talked to and been within, within the situation with her and Alberto. So, I, I gotta look at her some type of way. No, yeah, he'll be fine. I mean, because, yeah, he's the only attractive, good-looking character in this show who's left because... <laughs> Y'all killed Bray last week, so...
well prepared to die then. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> a good kill shot. Damn. Oh. How she might even be dead by the time he gets back. The corpse is gone. Why does this feel like a trap, though? Climb, don't do this. My boy thinks a fucking fist fight is gonna work. Hello, sir, have you seen him? No, don't say that. Uh, I can't lose him too.
Eins. And you were close, like, oh. <laughs> Her eyes! Woo! Her eyes! <laughs> hey! Yeah, good morning, sleepy eyed. Oh, well, yeah, just a little bit of changes. Oh, I thought she would have already turned him. Like, bruh. <laughs> You know, I'm brain, but it's gonna be fine because you know, he might come back to <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Yeah. 
Because y'all had that talking girl. Like, damn. But if y'all only knew... Bruh, that makes so much fucking sense. <laughs> oh my god. See, in a way, this now makes me want to go back and just rewatch this show from the entirety. Oh my god, is he finally dying today? Oh! Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> no. Damn, bro, your death is about to be fucked up. <laughs> your death, oh, I, I, and then damn, the whole house is bl <laughs> bloody as hell. His death was probably like what's his face of Georgia. <laughs> Whereas of right now he is still dying. <laughs> You want to watch Golden Wind so much? So bad. It's been a while since I rewatched Golden Wind. Excuse me. Okay. All right. So, final thoughts on this. This season, um, to me, in a way, felt like what, like it, just like teeter totting. There were times where it went, the pace went fast, and then the pace went slow. This season was good. Do not get me wrong, but I don't think it would be my personal favorite season. I would say, like, I'm more on the lines of, like, okay, so this is season four. I would say, like, still season one is still one of the best seasons. Each season is good. Each season has its pros and cons. But it's so weird looking at this of, of how I was at the beginning of this versus how I am now. Because I was super excited for this. To see what could happen. Because, like I said, the last time y'all saw me what with this show was all the way, like, three years ago. And I was just like, fuck it, you know, because it was the one show out of the Isekai Quartet series that I hadn't really sat and watched or and or done a reaction on. And I said, you know what, fuck it, let me go ahead and do it. Because I had heard good things about this show. And like still, even today, I am glad I, I really got into this series because I really, truly love the series is all. But this season, just, I don't know, something about it was just, I don't know, off maybe? I might have to, like I said, I might have to rewatch the whole entire series, like, from beginning to now up, like, binging it and stuff. Because that, that was, like, that was the one thing that was really, you know, weird and off for me, where I was like, okay, binged everything for the first three seasons, and then having this, like, having to wait every single week and such, and wanting to know what the heck was going to happen next. I do like the way this plan went out, though. But, at the same time, yes, brain, <laughs> I'm still emotional about that shit. Brain, I miss brain, and, and it's, it makes me wonder, like, 
one when is he possibly ever really going to return when is Kokutis going to have a conversation with the audience and be like hey you know he was cool he might be useful for you and that's why he preserved his body like that um I, I do like the fact that we finally got this situation on like what the princess was doing and the conversation she had with Alberto that we had a while back ago because the one thing that I like about this show and other shows that are very similar like it is where we'll have a conversation with characters then we're wondering what the freak has gone gone down between these two or a certain amount of characters and then we won't get that answer until possibly sometime by the end of it even though like I was someone where I was like I need to go in the next week finding out what the fuck these two bitches talked about um it is very interesting to see the princess as a demon now and that <laughs> her and Clive are now together for all eternity so you know hey so I am happy. I mean, she she's one of my other favorite characters because the way that she is sweet and twisted at the same time, like, oh, I'm just like, damn, I like this bitch. I fucks with this bitch. Um, because at the end of the day, all she cares about is climb. Like, the fact that this girl sold out her damn kingdom to be with Klein. I ain't mad about that. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just me. I mean, because if I had to say, you know, okay, it's either my kingdom or my man. <laughs> I mean, all I'll say is, this, was it that good? I mean, but still, she, she's just, she's obsessed with him. And so she, from what I had, there's so many things that I remember about the situation of these two and their relationship, yes. So she is going to do everything in her power to be like, hey, <laughs> we a package deal. But now it makes you wonder, like, yeah, what? world is going to happen if we ever do get a season five for this because it took a little while like I, I can't even imagine like at the time when season three had ended and so many people were wondering like when the heck are we getting season four now that we have season four and season four is officially over it's now of when are we getting season five from what I have heard in this last like because now it's Saturday in the last couple of days, I think uh, around the time when this ended, was there's not enough material for season five. So I, I think it would take at least a couple of years um, and such. It's kind of very similar to like um, Dress Up Darling. It, it, with the, Well, still with the situation of Dress Up Darling and how we're technically not, get, we're kind of getting season two, but at the same time we're not. And as someone who is reading the manga series and who just bought the first two, even though I am like on book seven, um, chapter wise, I don't remember where the heck I am because, you know, <laughs> I like to read. Um, but they're like when you're thinking of how close the anime is with the source material and then sometimes you're gonna like, OK, it's time to make that big old swerve into filler arc and such. It does make me wonder, like, if they wanted to ever do, like, a whole filler as season of Overlord. Um, would I be mad at it? Yeah, because, like, I, I'm like, bruh, like, sometimes you need it and sometimes you don't. And this take, let's look at Naruto, Bleach, anything that is, like, a hundred plus episodes where it's like, oh, hey, we're getting a little too close to, you know, the Arthur, so let's just go ahead and do a filler season. Sometimes that makes or breaks, like, the weightment the waiting issue and such so I say no to a filler season of this show but it, it feels like to me maybe I, I would say at least three to five years from now we might get season five I don't know um I could be wrong it just really depends on like how how much um they could do in the next couple of years because who freaking knows i mean maybe this is and i cannot believe i want to say this with this as well because <laughs> it's like this with don machi maybe it's time for me to read the source material because i don't think i can wait i'm a little too like antsy and interested and especially like with what is about to possibly happen and what could happen with this show um it does just also make me <laughs> even more excited for Isekai Quartet whenever the fuck that is coming back. Um, but yeah, 
truly, you know, love this season. Hey, you ended finally killing Philip, and I would have liked to see a gruesome, detailed death because, you know, hey, your girl likes bloody-ish, and hey, it's October 1st, you know, ish. So, yeah, it's my birthday month, even though my birthday ain't until the 18th. So, you kind of have to give me bloody, gory deaths, I'm just saying. And I, you, you didn't give to me, but I need it. I'm sorry. Girl likes horror, and, it, and it's good. I need it in my life, like, brah. That is just my son <laughs> for gory anime or gory death scenes in anime or really just in anything. In anything. So maybe I'll rewatch Alice and well finish my rewatch of Alice in Borderland after this. But yeah, it was a very interesting season. Um, enjoyed it a lot. Loved <laughs> coming back into this world and seeing these characters. Do dislike about the fact with some of the characters that I have loved from the beginning of the show up till now, ultimately ended up meeting their de demise in this, and then characters I hated also meeting their demise, and I love that shit. But overall, yeah, this was a very interesting season, and honestly, however long it takes, five years from now probably, as I said, uh, whenever the heck season five <laughs> will be out, then yeah, I will definitely check it out and see what the fuck is gonna happen next, but other than that, guys, that was my reaction review towards season four of Overlord. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all later on in the day for Spy Family. The one other show that I was supposed to record yesterday that I found out about, like, an hour ago that the first episode came out. So, I will be watching that tomorrow as well. And I think one other show besides Pretty Cure because of course Pretty Cure doesn't come out until later on in the night um but I think I have one other show that's also airing officially today but until then I will see you guys all next time bye